Good evening to you, Vicki. I can tell you tonight it was only after that suspect fell asleep that the victim was able to escape with her three children catching a bus to make it to a nearby hospital. That's where, of course, she told police her terrifying story. And while they have searched here in Clark County, they now believe Terry Dickerson is across the bridge in Louisville. Well, I kept running to my bedroom looking out the window to see where the noise was coming from. Neighbor Rosetta Williams, who lives on Luther Circle, says Friday night she thought she heard shouting at the home next door. She didn't think much about it until the next day. I saw about three or four police cars that were in the circle and they were beating on the door there. Jeffersonville police said Monday they'd been looking for 49-year-old Terry Dickerson, but he was nowhere to be found. According to police, Dickerson returned home Friday night having just purchased crack cocaine. He misplaced the drugs but blamed those inside the home, a mother and her young son. He was torturing the child to get the mother to talk. Uh, he also accused the child of being in collusion with the mother for taking his drugs. The pair was beaten with boards and wrenches. The little boy even forced to relieve himself on his mother. She later told police while being strangled, she lost consciousness. Dickerson, she says, found the drugs, then lost them again, and the abuse continued until early the next morning. Over the next several hours, uh, systematically tortured the both of them. Yeah, so well, if she needed help, she could and neighbor help Helen Barney says there's been trouble before. A few weeks ago, she saw that woman leave in tears with a small child. Now I happened to look out my door because it was loud, and I saw a black guy up in the corner, up there in the circle, hollering down the street at her, telling her don't come back or something. It's the same yelling Rosetta Williams now believes she heard Friday night. I would have intervened as much as I could to ensure that she got some help um, for the situation, but you know, definitely feel sorry for um, her and the, her child. And back here live tonight, police tell me, Vicki, that Dickerson's family has been somewhat cooperative, revealing his plans to hide out in Louisville. I can tell you tonight that the officers here in Clark County, that includes sheriff's deputies as well as Jefferson police, are working with Shively and LMPD officers to try and locate him. Of course, if you do, t do see Dickerson, you're asked not to approach him, but to call police. Reporting live in Jeffersonville tonight, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Thank you.